Thanks for joining us on this edition of the Council Recap. Council met Monday, July 2nd, 5.30 in the Council Chambers, a fairly short meeting. Um, first item of business was a public hearing for our tax abatement program, uh, five years of tax abatement for any new multifamily or single family home in Austin. Um, this one at 1905 13th Avenue Northeast. Uh, spec home uh, that will be moving forward. Uh, it's good to see the strength in the local e housing economy that someone's willing to do a spec home. Um, so far the tax abatement program, just as a side note, uh, it's had about 16 million uh, in value over the life of the program. We've had about 23 approvals through the city. The county's had 44, uh, so almost an equal amount outside the city as we've had inside the city, though they obviously still many of them call Austin home. Uh, moving on, we received bids for Oakland Place and 12th Street Southeast for a, a flashing pedestrian beacon. The improvements there are 31128 We had um, three bidders on that project. Gary Grow uh, was the low bidder um, on the project. We also had uh, $14,000 that came from the Hormel Foundation. So again, great partnership. This is over by the Ankeny gas station. Uh, just to give you a sense of what we're talking about, you'll see some flashing beacons and pedestrian uh, improvements, ped ramps, those sorts of things. Uh, we also had a couple things from engineering, uh, additional engineering services for the Turtle Creek Flood Control Project. Uh, that went to Bolton to make for uh, additional work that they did with FEMA compliance and review and DNR corrections, those sorts of things. Additional 46000 46000 uh, dollars roughly for uh, Bolton and Main Council approved those uh, changes. Uh, we also approved additional engineering services for the North Main Flood Control Project. That went to SEH for $29,900. Um, next item of business was approval of an application for Tur Turtle Creek Flood Control Project. Uh, this is a continuing effort on flood control, uh, one we've waited for for a while. We had previous uh, amounts of uh, a little over $1,150,000 in grant award. We needed uh, additional funding of which the state bonding bill uh, came through this last session in that regard. Uh, through that um, bonding allocation we we're going to receive $1,200,000. We have to commit our local option sales tax for that grant um, to go through. Hopefully it will. Uh, project cost of $4.5 to uh, fortify that area from high water. Um, so we'll hopefully see that project in 2019. Move forward if we get uh, the state grant award. Um, so that's good news. Um, otherwise, uh, re approved a uh, gambling premise application for uh, Fraternal Order of the Eagles for the Angry Hog and deemed uh, two properties, gave granted authority to the Planning and Zoning Department to take care of nuisance issues on those properties. Otherwise, that wrapped up uh, the Council's activities. We wish everybody a great 4th of July, and come out and join us at Freedom Fest. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you next time.